another natural science video with teacher Elena. So, today we are going to learn about the plant respiration. For that, I'm going to use two things. I'm going to use my friend, the whiteboard, and I'm going to use your book. So, pause the video and go and take your book, please. Okay, so here we have your book. We are going to read the text about the plant respiration so that you understand it, okay? You have it here. So, it says, plant respiration, like all living things, remember, living things are plants, animals, humans, and bacteria, and many other things, but mostly plants, animals and humans, okay? So like all living things, plants need to breathe, breathe. Okay, they need to breathe in order to live. This process is called respiration. In Spanish is respiración, okay? You understand it. So this process is called respiration. They absorb oxygen from the air and expel carbon dioxide as a waste. Waste is desecho. Okay, so we, they absorb the oxygen and they expel carbon dioxide. And the humans and the animals, the humans and the animals do the same. We absorb oxygen and then we release carbon dioxide. Okay, the plants, they do the same for breathing. They do the same as humans and animals. They absorb oxygen and they release carbon dioxide. Humans, the same. We absorb oxygen and we expel carbon dioxide. The animals, the same. They absorb oxygen and they expel carbon dioxide. We all do the breathing, the respiration, exactly the same. So, this respiration, I'm again in the text, I'm here. This happens during the day and at night. Both like you and like me, because we breathe during the day and also during the night. When you're sleeping in your bed at night, you are breathing, you are. Well, the plants do the same. When they are sleeping in the night, the little plant with the leaves and the flowers is like okay so we breathe during the day and during the night remember that the photosynthesis is only during the day okay so however in the daytime i'm here however in the daytime during photosynthesis they release most more oxygen than they need this is how plants sustain life on the planet. Teacher, what's that? What's that they release more oxygen than they need? I don't understand that. I'm going to explain it with the help of the little whiteboard. Wait a minute, we are going to see this picture in your book. In this picture, you see that during the day, for doing the photosynthesis, that is the green part, and the respiration is the pink, for doing the photosynthesis, the plant absorbs carbon dioxide and then releases oxygen. Remember, it absorbs carbon dioxide, it puts it together with solar energy and with raw sap and together it gets elaborated sap and oxygen. So during the day, during photosynthesis, the plant absorbs carbon dioxide and expels oxygen. But during the day, the plant does the photosynthesis and the respiration, and in the respiration, it absorbs oxygen and expels carbon dioxide. But what about the night? During the night, the plant doesn't do the photosynthesis because there is no sun, so it doesn't have solar energy. So during the night, the plant only does the respiration. That means that it, again, absorbs oxygen and carbon dioxide. Do you see here in your book that during the day it does the respiration, during the night it does the respiration, but during the day it does photosynthesis and during the night it doesn't? 
that is important. I'm going to explain you why. Today is Friday, 24th of April, 2020, okay? So here we have a plant and we also have a human. The human's name is Pepe. That's why it says, hello, I'm Pepe, because the name of the human is Pepe. And it's saying, hi. Okay, so uh, during the photosynthesis concentrate, this is important. During the photosynthesis, the plant absorbs carbon dioxide. Yes, it absorbs carbon dioxide and it expels oxygen. Yes, imagine that it produces more or less this oxygen. More oxygen. A lot of oxygen during photosynthesis, they produce a lot of oxygen, all this oxygen, okay? And during the day and during the night, the plant does the respiration. And in the respiration, it absorbs oxygen and it releases carbon dioxide. And Pepe does the respiration too during the day and during the night. So Pepe absorbs oxygen and releases carbon dioxide. Okay, during the day and during the night, Pepe and the plant absorb oxygen and release carbon dioxide. And only during the day, the plant absorbs carbon dioxide and releases oxygen. Now, it says in your books that during photosynthesis, the plants produce more oxygen than they need for respiration and that's how they sustain life on earth, that is, como sostienen the life on earth, la vida en la tierra, okay? Teacher, who is that, that they produce more oxygen than they need and blah, blah, blah? I'm going to explain you. So, this is all the oxygen, wait, this is all the oxygen that the plant produces during photosynthesis. But the plant for the respiration only needs this little oxygen. So from all the oxygen it produces, the plant only takes this little part. And what about the rest? The rest is for our friend Pepe, and for his cat, Mr. Meow, that is here. Oh, Mr. Meow looks like a dog, so it's going to be a dog, okay? So this is Mr. 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 Wow. This is Mr. Wow. Mr. Wow is an animal, so Mr. Wow also absorbs oxygen for respiration. And Mr. Wow also releases carbon dioxide, like Pepe, and like the plant, okay? So, all this oxygen that the plant doesn't need, like, uh, I produced all this oxygen and I only need this little part for breathing, do you want the rest? And Pepe says, yes, and Mr. Wow says, woof, woof, that means yes, okay? So, all this oxygen that the plant produces during photosynthesis, that is only during the day, goes for Pepe and for Mr. Wow. And that's how plants are super, super, super important because without plants, Pepe and Mr. Wow and you and me don't have oxygen, okay? The plants produce the oxygen. They take the carbon dioxide that we produce for their nutrition, okay? And in exchange, a cambio, they give us the oxygen that we need to continue living, okay? So remember, remember, during photosynthesis, the plant absorbs carbon dioxide and expels oxygen. This happens only 
during the day. And during respiration, the plant absorbs oxygen and releases carbon dioxide. This happens during the day and during the night, like you and like me. We breathe during the day and during the night. Pepe, Mr. Wow, and the plants, we do the respiration during the day and during the night. And remember, the plant produces during photosynthesis a lot of oxygen, but the plant only needs this little part, so all the rest is for the rest of living things, seres vivos, the rest of the living things for the humans and for the animals. Okay, so I hope you have understood the lesson. Goodbye and see you in the next video. Bye!